Okay, so my name is JC or Juan Carlos. I'm from Guatemala. Um, um, this is actually great. Never done one of these before. So there's a one time for everything, right? So core values. I went through and checked about your core values. And one that actually uh, topped me is the one that continues self-improvement. That's something that I have been living on for I have about 45 at this point, so basically all my life. Um, I think self-improvement and continuously is something that you need to be able to do. Uh, I know people that don't have it. I know people that uh, are unable to move forward with the times. Fortunately, I'm not one of them at this point, at least. Um, uh, one of the reasons I actually uh, applied to your, your website or your ad as a, first off, I didn't know what it was. After a while, I started looking into the, the whole interview process like a kind of like a challenge because your test is not uh, something that I'm used to, but uh, it was fun. I mean, it, it was something that it wasn't meant to be taken uh, lightly. Uh, I like the uh, the two scenarios that you uh, had before this ones, and. Um, after a while, I, I, I kind of looked into my, my past working uh, history, and I've done this before, not like you guys, of course. I, I was a freelancer for a company that was, at that point, we, we weren't doing like a marketing strategy. We were just creating ads and web pages. So that's my background. It's old school background, but it's a background at least. Uh, I remember I had a, we didn't have a quota, but we did get information about clients and listen, they just want to change or rebrand themselves, they reinvent themselves and um, basically took all the information you guys are taking at this point, like uh, tell us more about yourself, what, what's your purpose and it's created the logos. So it brought back really cool memories of when I was doing that freelancing job. Uh, right now I'm already married, uh, I'm no longer doing the freelancing sometimes i dabble though with uh web paging and web web page creation um some um what do you call it like ads for a 2d like uh, nothing in 3d animated well not anymore use the animate with flash i'm not actually sure what what you guys are using at this point probably java but java is kind of like square for me when, when I, I was doing it i I'd rather do flash so in the end brought back Really cool memories about uh, what what you guys are doing right now. I'm guessing it's now a really top industry because there's too many people like doing this on their own uh, or with with their own like a uh, with not not a back backbone as a company but as a freelancer. So that I think it makes it tough. However, your whole structure seems to be pretty solid. So then again, I'm, I'm praising you because it actually looks great. And, and truthfully, at this point, I, I would like to be a part of it, either on the sales point of view, which um, if you are a freelancer, you know I had to have some sort of pitch whenever I was trying to sell myself or my designs. Now, one of the, going back into it, what I didn't like or most of the time hated was when a client went ahead and said, uh, uh, we needed to have it a little bit more upbeat. So I add a little bit more color and um, try to get it more into that time within that time frame. And then he said, yeah, yeah, I, I think that's upbeat, but we need to give it a little bit more push. And I just hate it when everybody just gave words randomly, like give it a little bit more push, uh, give it a little bit more edge. Um, for me, edge could be one thing. So I tried to, what I learned at that point was how to talk to a client. Yeah, edge, yeah, you're absolutely correct. Needs more edge. Uh, my best guess, so I start speedballing a couple of things and you need to watch the client's eye reaction or whenever you say a word. So I'm, I'm probably going through the part where, where we are actually talking about uh, the end design, but that was the most fun for me, trying to read the client's mind or, or work um, lang uh, body language so I can know what we were aiming at. Because sometimes they, they probably say edge, but it wasn't edge. He was saying uh, we need a little bit more gray, for example. 
and, and in the end that gives it a little darker edge but it's not the edge i was aiming for so that's why we do not only need for them to give, tell us their their adjectives of what they need but to paint a scenario so i can go ahead and transmit that to a canvas so this has been fun i hope my words have haven't been too all uh, like all over the place uh, i try to mentally create some sort of a pattern when i was explaining what i did in the end again i'm uh, jc juan carlos from guatemala hopefully i get to hear from you guys and you get to see my stuff have a good day bye